Welcome back to Gears 1. We have received the premise of the game, now it is time to fulfill it! Yes, go and hunt down the Resonator. Get up those stairs. Alpha's waiting. Alpha's dead! But we don't know that yet, we just started playing. For all we know, this is the demo. Yes, just continually loot ammo. Okay, oh boy, I really hope that my I, that my uh, kleptomania doesn't follow through into this game too. I think it does. Well, yeah, you recorded this just after you were doing uh, Bioshock Infinite, right? Um, sometime after Infinite. I actually can't remember which games I was doing at the time. Probably, no, I was doing this game so I could get the taste of Sonic 06 out of my mouth. Ah. <laughs> The uh, enemy AI in this game is pretty intelligent, except that sometimes they don't know when to lower their heads, even when they're behind cover. Honestly, the main thing that I dislike about the locusts is how, how similar to the humans that they actually look, or these humans that are possessed by locusts. The, they do look kind of similar, especially because they're, like, everybody in this game is a freaking steroided up hulk of muscle. And I just paused. <laughs> um, all the humans have, you know, freaking massive biceps, and all the animations are pretty similar regardless of who the characters are. So sometimes confusion can occur. Ah, Parthenon. A Parthenon in the middle of... No, it's a house in the middle of a Parthenon. I don't know what the architecture in this game is based on. Uh, futuristic oh. Greek? Future Greek! <laughs> and they want me to learn how to flank during this sequence. And you're getting flanked because you're not, you know, paying attention. And I failed to use the chainsaw because um, when you rev the chainsaw, if you get shot while you're revving it, you get stunned for a brief period, and that can likely result in your death. Okay. You guts. Carmine, that's the helmeted guy's name. Okay. The same guy who plays his voice is the guy who plays Osmond Sadler in Resident Evil 4. Michael Go, I believe is his name. Kim also got down. Fantastic. You have successfully resurrected Carmine. Now he's going to charge into the enemy and explode. But he's not going to revive Kim. <laughs> yeah, your allies will almost never actually revive your other allies. Uh, as a matter of fact, I don't think they ever revive each other. I have to do all the reviving. So Marcus is really the medic on this difficulty. Marcus is... He's the contingency, really. Because once I'm dead, the game is over, and you have to start from the last checkpoint. You cannot get revived in one-player mode. It's what makes one-player mode particularly frustrating on insane difficulty. Of course, they're tough. They're an, alien, they're an alien species that looks remarkably humanoid. Everything in this game can take a barrage of bullets and then just get just just get a pat on the back from his buddy to erase all the damage. Yeah. Um. How good how good is the blind fire? Blind fire? Yeah. Um. There is like an invisible cursor you can use to. Uh, Let me somewhat... guess. Dead center of the screen. Dead center of the screen. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, I've I've never liked that because my my center of view is always is always pretty far off. Blind, I mean, you can use blind fire pretty reliably well in this game, except that blind fire spreads, like, just errone erroneously everywhere. You wasted the nade, dude. Uh, grenades are pretty plentiful in this game, especially in these early sections, because they want you to learn the game mechanics. So... Does Marcus actually build a relationship with the rest of these characters? Well, yeah. Marcus Marcus spends the entire game with Dom, for one thing. 
and several other characters who have, we have yet to meet at this point. And Kim is the particle son, I take it? I don't know who Kim is. <laughs> Kim is the captain. He's, he's the CO. Which is stupid, because it, it clearly looks and sounds as though Mark, uh, Marcus should be the CA. Wait! Oh, no. Yeah, Kim revived because you killed the guy that was trying to kill him. Right. right. That mechanic. I like that mechanic, mind you, I do. But um, it gets confusing from time to time. Magic bullets heal all injuries. So do pats on the back. <laughs> mm. And crouch rolling, because crouch rolling... This reminds me of a, of a piece from Castlevania Curse of Darkness, and Control the bridge is gonna is fall out from under you. We have visuals on Alpha. Possible KIA. No sign of Resonator. Possible KIA, he says. You know, those bloody husks over there are potentially Team Alpha, so... It's just a flesh wound. Yep, Kim, you press the button in midair and open the door. That's exactly right. No, I haven't prompted the enemies to spawn yet. <laughs> well, the blast radius on those is actually deceptively small. Yay! Your I first did chainsaw it. kill. Get first out of there before and I'm you about died. To die. <laughs> no, I'm not. You successfully <laughs> undided yourself. Um. Obviously, uh, the health system is indicated by the Jolly Roger in the center of the screen. When the Jolly Roger goes to a full skull and crossbones, you're dead and you have to restart. Send in the art of reloading. Achievements everywhere. So this is a new profile, then? Yes, this is the Rocket Rabbit profile. Okay. You no. cannot chainsaw down the pillar cloud. It's highly recommended that you don't use the chainsaw in approach, because if you get shot, you get stunned, and you probably will get killed right afterwards. Seriously, that Nate's blast radius is useless! And I just chainsaw that guy through the barrier, even though my character model wasn't touching him. Also, please note that enemies can chainsaw you if they have the gun. The Lancer. I think you successfully managed to waste all four of your grenades. Which is fine, because you get plenty of grenade drops in this game. Grenades are useful, but they're a little hard to use because there's a pretty decent delay between when you throw them and when they actually explode. Alright, um, what did- what tech are the- are these uh, locusts using in order to come up through the building's foundation? That is a good question, Gerdat. I'm gonna say locust magic, but they're not magical. They're quite, they're quite uh, obviously uh, uh, biological in almost every way. Mostly, mostly mechanized, if I had to guess. So magical locust machines is how they do it. So it's Metal Gear Solid all over again. Maybe. That is if I've actually played that game. In the next part, we may discover even more nanobots to help us take over the world. <laughs>